is the singer 44 23 worth it we're gonna find out So welcome again today guys. Um, today we're going to be talking about uh, whether or not these singers are worth it, whether or not they're as good as singer claim they are, and are they worth the money. Um, today I'm going to go um, over a few features of it and you, you can decide. I've already decided what I think, but I'm gonna tell you all that I know about these and you can decide what you think. So to start off, um, as I said, this is a um, singer 44, 23. Um, there's actually two versions of these, which I don't know if a lot of people know that, but there's a 44, 23 version and there's also a um, 44 52 versions. I own both versions. I own the 44 23 and I own the 44 52. Yes. Um, is this machine any good? My, in my opinion, I would say it all depends on what you intend to use this machine for. Okay. Um, so let me give you some, some, some. I'm gonna give you a little rundown of what it is and the features and all of that. Um, Coming out of the box, this is pretty much how it comes. It doesn't come with a table, it doesn't come with a stand. So it's basically like a tabletop um, machine. I don't think there's an official um, table out there. Maybe someone who's watching who um, is, is, is skilled in that area of carpentry. You know, if you wanna take that up, that could be a little side also right there. If you want to design some tables for these, I would say they probably would make you some money because there's a lot of people. These sell, they, these sell pretty well. So yeah. Um, so yeah, if anybody out there looking for ideas, you can start a singer sewing, singer sewing machine um, table company. So coming out of the box, this is basically what you get: the plug. I got it plugged in. Going to my socket right now because I, I need a light, and uh, so you get. Uh, the foot control, the yeah, foot pedal. So yeah, um, in terms of belting and motoring and all that, everything is internal. Um, the motors inside, basically built in. Um, unlike its um neighbor, the Juki, which comes with an external servo motor or whatever other clutch motors they might come with. Um, what that makes the obvious difference. Um, with a bigger motor. More powerful motor you get more power more speed um coming out of the box these the, it's it's 110 no 1100 stitch per minute stitches per minute right so it's 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 not fast for somebody who's used to running you know industrial machines but it's it's fairly decent for you know beginners and intermediate sores or you know just looking to do basic stuff now um get a little reverse right here you know, the fact that it's right here where you're sewing i like that idea i like the idea of that it's more accessible as opposed to going over here like on the juki i like this feature more we have our stitch length which goes up to four right these come with um 32 different stitch patterns um, and they're labeled in if you notice they're color coded black and blue so to access the black ones you put it on zero and if you turn it you're gonna get this one as opposed to this one so you're gonna get the black one right turn it you get the black one again as opposed to this one now if you want to access the blue ones you switch it to S1 right Upper area of your arms, um, stitch width. Okay. Um, 
okay so if you're doing zigzag depending on how wide you want the needle to swing if you want it to swing not so wide just scroll this to this side if you want it to swing really wide just scroll it not scroll but you know dial it to that side um, we also have a needle position you can set the needle to you can set the needle to the center or you can move it to the right or you can move it to the left all right i'm only just leave it centered depend depends on what i'm doing okay and then you also have the tensioner right here down here you have a bobbin you have a flimsy little piece of plastic cover as <laughs> the, the bobbin cover that's it and you have flimsy plastic bobbins i'm not a fan of plastic bobbins guys so but yeah, not a deal breaker for me so as i said um i have both of these machines they come in the 4423 version and they come in the 4452 okay and i have both of them so you might be asking yourself why would i need what, what do i do with these machines you might be asking yourself what do i do with these let me show you that's the main use of these machines for me um you might be asking yourself if you're not that familiar with these machines what this is this is actually a um, buttonhole maker and it's fully automatic well semi-automatic but you know um i like this feature of it um it works perfectly for my use um so let me show you um, exactly how it works you put the pressure the, the you, you in the back we have the um the press foot lifter it's plastic also cheap flimsy but it works so we pick the press foot up and this right here can i get that you press it like that and the um exit um the, the, the foot that is on pops off you now you in order to get this one on you just slide it in like that so you're gonna sit sit the metal bar that goes across you're just gonna line it up with the split right here then you will press the reliever then you go in the back with the plastic um pressure what lifter is you bring it down on it then you let that go and that's it it's attached and that's the only reason i use this so now how this works is you whatever button you're gonna use right let me press this up so it doesn't pressure it too much oh shoot my bad actually, i actually have this on backwards it should be like this guys all right okay so you line it up set up then bring the foot down let it go and it snaps on just like that okay so how this works is um all right, so how this would work is you whatever button you're gonna be um, using, you will put the, the button in here, right, and slide it and lock it up like that. You would lock the button in like that, and what I would do is uh, automatically adjust the spacing of how wide the machine needs to make the button hole. So then you would um, go to your your pants um or whatever your shirt whatever you need to put the button make the button holes on right you would go on it um make a mark you would mark where you want exactly where you want the um the button hole to be then once you get that mark you pick up the press of wood put your fabric on there make sure it lines up with it right make sure the needle lines up with um where, where where you want the button hole and you put on your press board of course um then this part this is where the automation comes in you see this button right here that says push you pull that down like that and then you're gonna push it back right Hold on. so you would have to push it down and then push it back like that okay push it back like that Once you do that, so there are certain settings that you have to do in order to get um, the button hole function. 
they suggest you do anywhere in between zero and one length okay and then you switch to the button hole um display right there so yeah once you hit the pedal it's gonna stitch it's gonna then stop reverse and stop again and fasten by itself fully automated <laughs> and it's a home it's a home machine with that feature to me that is gold right there so this is the only reason i use these things this is these are the only reason why i own these machines because you know i do work and stuff like um pants and shirts which needs buttonholes you know so that's the main reason why i use this thing so like i said that's the only reason i use these for, to make buttonholes that's it and it does a superb job so is it garbage for me <laughs> absolutely not if it was garbage i wouldn't buy two and I'm, I'm thinking about buying more once my my operation gets widened more the more i grow the more i'm gonna get because they're very effective and the thing about this now these machines now is it overhyped i would say they are overhyped if you ask me honestly they're overhyped um singer like to label them as heavy duty um are these heavy duty not to me they're not heavy duty um the, the I think it's a little deceiving when they say heavy duty because what they really mean when they say heavy duty is that the frame, the inside of the whole frame is metal. Yes, it's metal. If um, there are videos on YouTube where people strip them down and you can see the whole skeleton, the whole frame is metal. In that terms, in that sense, it is heavy duty. But to somebody that isn't, to the, to the, to the everyday average person, including myself, um, when i see heavy duty machine i'm automatically thinking all right heavy duty as in canvas denim you know tough thick fabric can this handle tough thick fabric and, and even stuff like leather that's what comes to mind when you think of heavy duty right can this stitch leather if you force it to an extent it might work but this thing isn't gonna work to the point where you can do production if you're working with leather if you have say like a little leather patch now that you want to stitch onto a piece of fabric yeah yeah you might get away with it if you force it um denim if you're doing like basic you know not that much stitching you might be able to force it to do denim and i guarantee you i would not be using this on denim or canvas or anything matter of fact my advice is i would never use this machine on any material whether it be leather or cloth that is more than six ounces per square okay i want to use it no more than five ounces actually if you ask me this machine isn't built for doing hard work or heavy duty work it's built for doing hard work it's durable in, in a sense but it's not made for doing heavy stuff okay if you have an emergency where you might want to fix like your jeans or whatever then you can get away with stitching it doesn't like thick thread that's number one thick threads talking about the t70 t80 t90 this machine cannot handle it another thing you cannot find needles that are big enough that works with this machine to accommodate um, those thickness of thread okay you might be able to squeeze a t send it through a uh, 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 80 needle i don't think you can get bigger than 80 needles for this and the machine just doesn't love it i tried doing all of that guys so i'm telling you from experience i tried doing all of that and it gets jammed up all the time it runs yes it works but it does not really work <laughs> so are these heavy duty hell no they're not heavy duty in terms of the type of fabric that you can do on it right but anything under five ounces i would say it's a piece it's a home machine i say it's way better than every other option of home machine that you have out there the brothers the whatever you have 
this blows them away and as I said it gives you 1100 stitches per minute which is not bad okay this is not bad for an internal driven machine it is not bad and as I said I'd buy more it doesn't come with a threat stand when it comes with this little you know holder but yes you, you can only do small reels of thread on it you need you probably gonna have to buy something like the, the like an official thread stand if you you know trying to do you know heavy amount of work um what else can i tell you guys about this there isn't much more to it it's, it's a pretty simple machine very inexpensive if you're a beginner and you're looking to you know learn sewing it's a perfect machine for it you know get used to you know the feel of sewing and learning the basics and then you can grow from there but as i said i love it for the buttonhole automated feature and i'm not gonna stop using it and also yeah i do jeans in terms of the 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 the, the, the buttonhole feature it works perfectly on jeans works perfectly on denim works perfectly on canvas for me but the straight stitch is where the, the issue is. So I would not use this for straight stitch. Okay? And that's my point of view. Comment and let me know what you think. Okay? If you have these, if you have this machine, then you can feel free to let us know what your experience is. As I said, we are just learning, um, bouncing ideas and information off of each other. And this is my experience um, with these. As I said, I have both versions. I have the 11. I have the... 4423 which is this one and then I have the 4452 the difference between them is I think the 4452 has more stitches more stitch patterns okay um I don't think it's faster in any in any sense I don't find it more powerful in any in any in any way it's the same exact thing they just throw a few more um stitch patterns I don't use any of these other, other than what I tell you the um the buttonhole setting that's it for people who like doing quilting and doing like um patterns or whatever it is great it's great for you guys all right now i tell you what i use it for and you can form your own opinion and as to whether this is worth it or not i would say it's worth it all right and guys thank you so much for the support just want to throw that in um I'm gonna do my best to keep making these videos. Not only on sewing machines, I'm trying to I'm gonna mix it up a little bit. I'm gonna um I got a few surprises for you. Put it that way, I got a few surprises for you guys. Okay? So thank you for tuning in. Thank you for staying with us. Um shout out to the to my to my camera person, Kybes. I'm sure you I'm gonna put um a link to Kybes channel in the description box. Peace, love, I'm out. Thank <laughs> you.